Aaron. Uh, playing a band called The Almost, and another one called Under Oath, and you're watching new band Television. All right, Aaron, so are we good to go? All right. Um, so I want to kind of start off talking about uh, this is the first <coughs> day of the tour and kind of like for sure. the feelings that for you sure have. Ever. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, kind of like the feelings you have, like as far as nervousness or anything. I mean, you've been out on, you know, plenty of tours, and I mean, is this different because it is your first, you know, show with this new band and stuff like that? or? Um, you know, I mean, obvi there's obvious ap apprehension and nerves, but it's cool, man. You know, that's what, that's what fuels the fire, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a little weird, like, this whole process has been a little weird, like recording records and stuff without Tim and the dudes. But I like it, you know, it's fun, like... But it's a little weird, but it's super good, you know? They're all very supportive and rad about it, so... Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, so they are supportive? And super they're rad. Cool. Yeah, they're all super rad about it. They, they all like the record, and it gets weird, but yeah. They, yeah, it's no, cool. that's great. That's great. Yeah. So tell me how this kind of like all came about. Like how you started. You know, you brought some new guys up here for the almost, and um, where'd you find those guys and stuff like that? Um, I I wanted to make a record that was uh one of those records where you put it in and you can drive in your car and just real simple sort of structured rock tunes. So that's kind of the 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 idea bug for just the thing as a whole. And then a friend of mine, my drum tech for Under Oath, he, uh, I was talking to him one night, we were on tour, um, on Warp Tour, and I was like, I gotta get a band, I don't know how to do that, you know what I mean, like, I was like, I don't, I don't even know how to, see, I got this friend Jay, he, uh, he's a rad dude, he's a sick guitar player, he's 25, blah, 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 blah whatever, curly hair, whatever, and, uh, curly hair. so I brought this dude to my house, and he listened to the record, and we just clicked, and, uh, he from there helped me find everybody else, uh, I found this kid, Kenny, to play drums, he was living in the streets, and I, uh, Picked him up off the streets and That's moved him into my house, and my girlfriend like cleaned him up. And I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, I found this kitty. What if? What if? Found this kid named Kenny to play drums, and uh, my buddy Nick from Salt Lake. I just moved to Salt Lake a couple months ago too. Okay. Um, and then Jay's friend Alex signed on to play bass, so we kind of just vicariously through Jay and Kenny kind of started this band, and uh, we're practicing for a few weeks, and cool. we're gonna try it and see if we don't suck here in a little bit. So. Best of luck, right? We'll try. <laughs> try so, my hardest. have you been have you been writing for a while with the idea that you wanted to come out with a solo project, or is that um, I don't know. I just Under Oath is such a specialized thing, you know, and I feel like it appeals to a lot of people. Like, but I wanted to make songs that were kind of traditional rock songs, which Under Oath obviously doesn't do. We don't write traditional rock songs, which is cool, you know. And I love it. And it's my heart, and it's where I'm at in life. But I wanted to make really traditional rock tunes, right. like not traditional in the sense of like ACDC or like something like that, but like you know just simple format rock tune so I I wrote a bunch in the back of the Under Oath bus and some here in Burbank or over in Burbank when I was here mixing the Find the Great Line and right yeah so it. were you a part of the writing process with Under Oath as well or Under Oath as well oh yeah I mean I this this writing process went on when I was in the studio with Under Oath okay 95 percent of these songs were written in the studio with Under Oath okay so or right before we went okay so cool. yeah. how would you say that it differs um you know with the writing process with Under Oath versus you're obviously doing your own thing, <coughs> kind of your own, every single thing is kind of your Yeah, what, what makes Under Oath Under Oath is the fact that the six of us don't agree on anything, from food to color to music, we don't agree on anything. We butt heads constantly about creative freedom and about what we want to do, and that's what makes Under Oath what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what makes Under Oath, when you listen to it, it's like a mess, but it's a good mess. That's what makes it what it is, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of our shtick, right, you know what right. I mean? Well, they almost, it was kind of like I just wrote these songs, and I thought they were okay, and I ran them by people and recorded them. That okay. was it, by myself. You know, I was in the studio by myself. So you recorded everything yourself for... Yeah, yeah, my friend Kenny, um, Kenny Vasoli, he sings in that starting line band. Okay. He uh, played bass on two songs. But other than that, yeah, I was all alone. Cool. And there's like a choir, and Matt Slocum from Sixpence and the Richer did like a an orchestral arrangement, and had a dude play steel guitar, stuff like that, but I mean, yeah, all the guitar, bass, drums, yeah. vocals I did that's myself, yeah. That's got to be cool to have your own creative freedom, too. Yeah, dude, it was super fun, stuff. and it was fast. Like, recording by yourself is so fast, because you don't have to explain to anybody else, like, you know. Right. Play this way, or, you know, the pattern is this, or the pattern is that. You can just do it like you want, because you know what you're doing. That's Not to say I know what I'm doing, because I'm badass, but you know what <laughs> I mean. Like, you know what you're doing when you record one thing, and you you know how to match up with it. Yeah. <laughs> Just one thing.